the Song of Ascents are some very powerful prayers. And in this time of praying for Ethiopia, we touched on 125, Psalm 125. Now, the Song of Ascents, just so that we have a, a good, a good overstanding, not just a understanding of the Psalms from Psalm 120 to Psalm 134. These group and this group of 15 Psalms, Mesmorat, they bear the, the Hebrew name Shir Ha Me'alot, Bamarinya Me'arig Mesmor. Some have disagreements about exactly how it's to be interpreted, but we, in spirit and in truth, we know the precise meaning of a sense. It's going up. It's the Aliyah of the Hebrews and Jews, and it's the Exodus of the once lost but now found Beta Israel. And it has special use for which these Psalms were composed. Now it is said in some of the Mishnaic um the Hule Tenyao Kufal Malet Mishnah Malet no description of the Mekdes, the holy place. It stated that there were fifteen steps which led up from within it, which was the court of the woman, to the court of the Israelites, the Israel Israelawia Noch. And they corresponded to the fifteen songs of ascents of degrees and upon them the lewawian the the true priests and the priests in this time are after the order of melchaz edek they used to sing sing a new song sing the king's song at the ceremony of rejoicing at the place of water drawing on the festival of Sukkot or Tabernacles, Yadas Baal, the Lewawian, they were stationed upon the 15 steps that led to the court of the Israelites, to the court of the woman, uh, corresponding to the 15 songs of ascent, the Psalms of degrees in the songs. It was upon these that the Lewawian, that the, that the Levites, the, the true Bahitawi and Debtara Och, they stood with their musical instruments and they sang their songs. That's just a, a brief intro to these songs. Let's look at just the first song, since we started out with one, two, five, let us take a look at the first one. And the first one is Psalm 120. Psalm 120. Ask Edmo Bamarinya. In the Amharic from the Met of Kedus of Negus and Negest. Mesmore Dawit Mesmore Meto Asara Zetang. Metohaya Yem Arig Mesmur Betech and Nekohu Gize, what Egeziavi Herachohu Samanyim Ka Amet Enya Kenferaka Shengayim and Debet Abutu Nefsein Adnat Sile Shingala Shinigala Shinigala Slash Nigalan Debet Minin Yisatu Hal Minis Yichamrul Hal In the Berha in Chet Fim Ye Hayalana Philas Oche Yetesalu Nacho Menoria Ye Yarak a Hine Oh, your link. Bek edar din kwano cha adar hu. Salamina kamiat alu gar. 
نفسي بزوغي زي نورج اني سلاماوي نين بتناغر خواتشو غي زي جن بكنتو تسلفو بين The slanderous tongue. This psalm, Psalm 120, the first song of degrees, it addresses the slanderous tongue. Forgive them, Abba, for they, I don't think they know what they're doing, but forgive them for Jesus Christ's sake. Many opinions are divided whether this psalm is speaking to an, an individual or individual is the speaker, an individual is praying for deliverance from a campaign of slander. For example, the slander against Moan Bessazem, Negeri Yehuda, Kadamawi, Chayla, Selase, Siyume, Gziavia, Nugusa, Negeza, Etiopia. Or is it a nation? which is suffering from this cause. You know, like they like to make Ethiopia the butt of the jokes, always starving, starving Marvin, slander, slander. Perhaps it was originally a personal cry, such as the personal cry of Abatachin, of Kadamawi Haila Selase. And afterwards, <laughs> when the chickens, as they say, came home to roost, it is applied to a national emergency, such as Ethiopia's present time of national emergency. I mean, when the head of state and the head of the church die in strange circumstances simultaneously much less also the head of the military is it a conspiracy of, of man and people or is it an act of God pray for Ethiopia this national emergency such as do you remember the lying allegations of the Samaritans? Those who say they are but are found liars to hinder the rebuilding of the Mekdes as many seek to hinder the rebuilding of the Ark of the Covenants, uh, New Mekdes. Remember Ezra chapter 4 verse 1? Check it out. Or could it be the intrigues of Sanballat and uh, Tobiah to stop the construction of the wall around Jerusalem and Nehemiah and Nehemiah 4 and 1, like many are seeking to stop the rebuilding of the firewall around Rastafari in this present time? Stop the preaching of the gospel of the king of kings those who spread false doctrine in the name of his imperial majesty who preach contrary to the good news of his imperial majesty we don't even have to name names right now we have to pray but one thing is pretty true pretty certain that the collection of pilgrim Songs, Meheja, Mesmorat, Meheja, Pilgrim, Pilgrimage Songs, is appropriately introduced by one, and this one expressive of the unrest arising from compulsory association with uncongenial and hostile neighbors. That means we, 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 we live in a bad neighborhood and 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 Ethiopia is in a bad neighborhood so there's a there's a there's a there's a compulsory association with these and those within and without and around 
landlocking Ethiopia. These uncongenial and these hostile neighbors. Some say it's a religious thing. Some say it's a cultural thing, a political thing. A telat is a telat. Pray for Ethiopia. Now the the psalmist and I and I and I and I we lament that our sensitive soul, our newborn soul has been so long obliged to be a sojourner where we have heard nothing but lying and strife even to those who fled for religious reasons and we invited them in. And now look, look at it. But it's not just them. Weary of these and, 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 and those, his soul, our soul, stretches her wings towards a land of rest. Our feeling ill, at ease amidst present surroundings, it stings us to take the pilgrim staff as Yaakob. He came out, sojourned here and there, and he returned. He only had his staff. He only had his staff. So this is the first of the songs of ascents of the song of degrees that concerns the slanderous tongue. That means if we are wise to salvation, the first that we have to deal with are the slanderous and to pray concerning these and those. Verses 1 and 2. Let's address in 120, Psalm 120. Let's address, if we will, verses 1 and 2. As we already know, the subscription is Ye Me'arig, Ye Me'arig Mezmur. Song of degree, a psalm of degree. So verses one and two. Better chenekuhu gize, what a egaziabe her chohuhu, semanyim, ka omet enya confer ka shengayim, andebet, albetu, nefsin adnat. To the Lord, or better, to Yahweh, to egaziabe her, to the sustainer. In the Hebrew, these words are placed at the beginning of the sentence. Many say to add to their emphasis. To Adonai in my distress I called. In his present straits, he brings to mind pass uh, vicissitudes or vicissitudes when when salot when 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 prayer to the source resulted in relief and he employs the same means to escape his enemy now verse 2 if you look at Psalm 52 verses 2 and 3, a similar situation is, 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 is graphically described. We, we won't go there right now, but the decum is amorit. You know what to do. Study and show thyself approved to God as workmen and sistership. Work woman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Interesting. He said, deliver, deliver my soul. Abitu, 
my father, his father, or father of the house. From what? From lying lips. From who? From a deceitful tongue. Samanyam. In my distress, I cried. I shouted to the sustainer, to Yah, even Yahweh. And he heard me deliver Yeshua, my soul, Yeshua, my soul, Abertu, from lying lips and from a, a deceitful tongue. The lips in the Hebrew and Bamarinya are singular. However, the sense of it is collective. The deceitful, the deceitful, the, the, the full of deceit tongue, literally the tongue which is, <laughs> is full of deceit, is full of deceit. That's the opening part. Verses three and four, it speaks on how Yah, even Jah, punishes slanderers. So slanderers, slanderers, listen up, repent, even to you. So when you, we besiege or we about to take a city, we declare to it terms of shalom. We declare to it terms of salam, of peace. And if it accepts, it becomes a tributary, you know, gibber, right? You pay the gibber. However, if they don't, kababa, kababa, kababa. Verses three and four, it says, Sile Shinigala and Debeta Minim Yisetuhal Minis Yichamrul Hal What shall be given to thee? Like what you want? <laughs> you want a gift? What shall be given to thee? Or mm, what shall be done to thee? Thou false tongue shall be given shall be done shall be given shall be done it's like a meditation what shall be given what shall be done or what shall he give or what shall he do more the psalmist is sure it's positive, for sure, no doubt, that God, that the good, will not allow this man or these people to go unpunished. There's no doubt about it. The form of the question is based upon the Hebrew idiom that we find in First Samuel, chapter 3, verse 17. God do so to thee, and more also if was that a refa dot 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 nit im nit im nit im nit im. Yah do so to thee, and more also if. So it's a certain Afro Shemitic idiom. But let's get to the good part. Kuter arat in the barahain chetafim. Yehayala na filasoch yetesalu nacho. Sharp arrows of the mighty with the coals of juniper. Mm. Or here in the Tehlim, the English in Yatargum, it says sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of broom. With coals of broom. Coals of juniper. Coals of broom. Well, sharp arrows of the mighty, that's the first part. The chayalan, the ones who have chayal in Abba, to whom all chayal belongs. Rather, sharpened arrows of a warrior, or of the warriors, or of the strong ones, or of the powerful ones. Ha Elohim's punishment will correspond to the crime the guilty person or, or or people who have refused to repent and have a change of mind 
had shot verbal arrows at him, at I and I and I, to ruin his character. They have shot arrows at our father to ruin his his character to to character assassin, to character crucify Kadamawi Haila Salase. See Jeremiah chapter nine verse seven as a reference. Ha Elohim Hashem will he will appoint an archer. Nowadays they would say a sniper to strike him down with real arrows. Because our Abba, our Father, the God Father, He is real. But mercy triumph over judgment. Mercy, grace, the coals of broom. Now, it's interesting here from the Tehillim, the roots of the, the, the Rotem, Rotem, or the Rothem, the Rothem, the Rothem, are still used in many parts of the world as fuel, and they throw out much heat, much heat. In the Berahain Chetafim, the, the, the coals of the wood of the wilderness, the Rothem, the Rotem, often also called the, um, the broom, and the Hebrew is the, is the, is the Ritamin, the Ritamin, or the Ritamin, the Ritamin, right, or the Rotem, and so, the idea here is that it throws out much heat, no heat, more heat, as Rastafari say, more heat, right? The persecutor or persecutors, they had kindled strife and contention, betraying the covenant with his majesty for their cold war, for their new world order. Mm, mm. They will be consumed in the fiercely burning fire, the burning fire, if you please, of divine, of ivine retribution. Interesting here, it has, uh, Psalm 40 and 11. Check that out. Psalm 40 and 11. But let us move forward. Verses 5. Verses 5 to 7. This is the lament of an exile. This, this speaks to us where we're at right now. Whether in the North Country or in any of the other countries whither he had driven our ancestors. Those who were under a dispensation. Till 1930. Let's overstand. But the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Though it was done then. Look. It's what? 70, 82 years, right? Mm. So the lament of an exile. Verses 5 to 7, and it reads, Menoriaye yerake ine woyolin bekeda din kwano chaderhu. Salamin kamit el lugar nefse bizugize norech. Ine salamawi neng. Betanagar Huacho Gize Gin Bekento Tesalefu Bin. Don't you see it? Let's check out the footnote right here and see what it's saying. Verse 5 Meshech Kedar. Woe is me that I sojourn in Meshech, right? That I dwell in the tents of Kedar, right? But who is Meshech? Who is Kedar? Or some say Kedar. But they are linguistically handicapped. It's Kedar, not Kedar. Huh? Huh. The first is named Meshach. Right? Notice what it says. Bamarinya, menoria ye yarak egize. Wo yo ling. Wo yo ling. Woe is me. Let me tell you what. 
<laughs> many of us, y'all willing, coming out of this warrior, we got some stories, some, wow, some testimonies, but Jah is good all the time. The first Meshach, Meshach, right? Meshach is named among the sons of Japhet, Japhet, Japheth, right? In Genesis chapter 10, verse 2. And it designates a people living between the, <laughs> the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Sound like, sound like Khazar country to me. It's Khazar country, right? Now the other, right? <laughs> Get this, it's pointing out that whole region and, and the main people and ethnic groups, even to this day. This shows the, this shows the, the, the God foresight of the divine word. The other, Adar, Adar bears the name of the second son of Yishmael. In this Amatualen, huh? Right? Genesis, um, 25 and 13. And it stands for the Bedouin Harabs, the Bedouin Arabs or Arabs, as we say, as we say in the hood, them Arabs, right? Uh huh. So we got the Arab, right? Kedar. And then we have Meshach, right? And then we have the, um, the Arabs and the Rabbi. So we're between the Rabbis, right? The Rabbis, who Rabbi and I, who want, see, they can't really, but that's what they've been doing. They think they have, right? They think they got away with it, right? Wrong. And the Harabs. So some think that we've been a little, we here in the Machiber and we the, Rastafari Mekwanant, the officers of the King of Kings and the Knights of Rastafari, that, that, um, that we've been a little bit harsh on the Islamo fascist. <laughs> That's what they think. They think we've, we've been harsh. They think we've been harsh, right? Mm. Right? But, um, notice how this word <laughs> is very clear. And we might have read this some years ago, but during this time right now, we, this is by by inspiration, the Memphis Kedus, the Ruach HaKodesh, or the Ruch HaKodesh, right? Alike, they are typical, typical of barbarian races, right? Aramawiyan, right? The Aramawiyan. Not barbarian in the sense that they have here on their face, because, you know, we Hebrews and Ethiopians got here on our face too. But they are... They are barbarian in the sense of Alamawian, right? Now, the psalmist does not mean that he is actually dwelling among them, you know? It doesn't mean that Aina is actually dwelling among them unless we say like some of the corner store Arabs and some of the Hasidics, right? Right? But it says the psalmist does not mean that he's actually dwelling among them, but forced into flight, forced into fleeing from Zion, forced into crossing the river of Ethiopia and West Africa, and then, and then we have the Arabs, and then we have the Mohammedans, and and then we have all of these heathenish peoples and the Europeans doing what? Doing what? Selling us, right? Like merchandise.